My name is Tyra and this is Gus. We are the youngest and the oldest members of the PTC. We are both on the house of group. I only became involved in the PTC by accident. My mum is Tracy, who shared our family story of homelessness at the launch. I went, went along to one of the PTC meetings at the very beginning and after hearing the inspiring stories and how with the PTC we could make change and help other people is what made me want to stay. Many of you will know that I work tirelessly trying to influence how health services are delivered across West Cheshire. I sit on many groups and boards and was awarded the West Cheshire Voluntary Action Older Volunteer of the Year in June 2019. We welcome new initiatives like inter Integrated Care Partnership and the merger of the Cheshire CCGs. We have looked at some of the barriers for accessing services for people in our community. In particular, looking at barriers to physical activity. Ranging from cost, motivation, meeting the right criteria, transport, equipment and many more. The biggest barriers we felt were transport. For people living with complex health needs and who have no transport means the journey in itself is difficult and becomes a barrier to participation. The price of a membership or the cost of a session is unaffordable for people on low income. If you're struggling to eat, provide heating and pay for day-to-day -day living expenses, going to the gym is a luxury you simply can't afford. People who are not used to exercising or those who simply say, it's not for me, need to be sold the benefits to their long-term health and well-being. Cheshire West and Chester has 16 neighbourhoods that rank in the 10% most de deprived in England. There's a lot of evidence and insight already available regarding the barriers to physical activity, but the PTC has gathered the thoughts of people with lived experience and, and direct experience of poverty. Children and young people to help them to develop we found a lot of good initiatives in primary schools, secondary schools and beyond. The support needs to be sustainable. For this to happen, a number of key components have to be in place. Leadership and buy-in from the top of the organisation. A change of culture, including viewing things from the pupils' and parents' perspective, rather than trying to change the child. Training and support for teachers making sure it's embedded into the curriculum, not an add-on. And bespoke support for pupils with more complex problems. Me and my group from the Poverty Truth Commission in Cheshire have been talking about mental health of young students in schools. We believe schools have an extreme lack of provisions in this area. We were discussing an in real life situation where, student, where students would have to misbehave in classes just to get the attention they need from adults. This can put students in a situation where they're having to sacrifice their grades and future in order to help their mental well-being and this becomes a part of their everyday routine. This is a national picture. Although having to sacrifice their future, this is only a short-term fix for students. It becomes a long-term problem as the future has been made worse by their mental health. Mental health in school isn't all bad though. There are many instances where a teacher has made a relationship with students and noticed the issues before they got any worse. I think these changes have happened, need to happen now or the future of students will just go down. <laughs> we found ourselves, as others have said, in a privileged position. The name Poverty Truth Commission has opened many doors and we've been able to find pieces for our jigsaw in many different organisations. With the help of the PTC, three of us, including myself and Linda, are now mental health first aiders. The solution to all these problems cannot be solved by one organisation or individual. It takes working together with key organisations and our communities to, re to truly understand and remove the barriers. I had never come across such inspiring individuals before and the fact that I was listened to and finally had a voice to be able to influence important matters made me feel like what I was doing was worthwhile. Since I've been on the PTC my confidence has improved in tremendously. I have met with a lot of wonderful people and I have really enjoyed doing everything and I feel privileged to have been a part of this amazing opportunity.